the reflexes of the nervous system vary from simple to complex. Some, such as a simple stretch reflex, may only involve two neurons, a sensory neuron, which brings uh, sensory information to the spinal cord, and a motor neuron, which then uh, takes a command to a muscle cell. In contrast, many other reflexes are far more complex. These might involve driving, or walking, or swimming. So nervous system reflexes can be simple or very complex, involving many cells. In the same way, endocrine responses can be simple. There could be a stimulus, which causes a cell to release a hormone, which then causes the desired effect, the response. There are other endocrine reflexes which are far more complex. A cell might release a hormone, which then affects the hypothalamus, causing it to release a hormone, which then affects the pituitary gland, causing it to release a hormone, which then affects another gland, causing it to release a hormone, and then this causes the desired response. And so just as nervous responses can be simple or complex, the reflexes of the endocrine system can be simple and complex.